Today we're checking out the Gemini Casino 1975 Orange Playing Cards. This is a beautiful deck, numbered seal, and so many cool things about it. Now if you like playing card reviews, this is going to be the channel for you because I put one out every single week. So subscribe and ring the bell so you can get notified, and let's get into this review right now. The tug box is going to be done in orange, it's going to say Gemini Casino, and inside of both of those spade pips in the center say Gemini as well. One side says Gemini Casino. The other side says Gemini Casino in more of a fun font and then says Casino again. The back is going to be reminiscent of the back design. The bottom is Gemini's Casino ad copy. You do get a numbered tuck seal, mine is number 269 of 1200. The top of the tuck box says Gemini, Las Vegas, Nevada, 1975. The large inside tuck flap has a G inside it, and the two inner tuck flaps are blank, just like the rest of the inside of the tuck box. And that's all I can say about the tuck box, so let's take a look at the cards inside. Starting with the bag design, extremely beautiful, love the vibrant orange and yellow combo, and the white is extremely whimsical. One thing that is really fun about this deck is you have four dots in the corners, which is just a little added touch that I do truly enjoy. The number cards are going to be completely standard, bicycle standard to be exact, nothing out of the ordinary, looks beautiful, and works for every occasion. And the same goes for your three aces. Your court cards are going to be bicycle standard, the only difference is that now there's no blue, and the yellows are now more of a faded tan. But outside of that, everything's standard, and looks beautiful. You get duplicate jokers, saying compliments of Gemini Casino, downtown Las Vegas, Nevada, saying jokers in both corners, and the same logo from the back design. Your Gemini Casino Ace of Spades, a Gemini Casino ad card, and the exact location down to the street in the exact location of Gemini Casino. And after all that, there's still some things that you'll want to know. First of all, can this deck Pharaoh Shuffle? So from the bottom to the top, literally Pharaoh Shuffled every other perfectly, no problems there. And then from the top to the bottom, which is for the most part where decks struggle, this deck right here is going to have no problem with that either. So Pharaoh Shuffling, you're set. Fanning is going to look standard from pretty much both sides. Back design is going to be standard as well, just going to have medium border. Like, there's nothing extra cra crazy. I mean, you have the one dot up in the corner, and that's pretty much it for that. Now, outside of that, there's still two more things that I'd have to say. Number one, how's this deck going to feel in your hand? So if you purchase this deck for 10% off in the description below using code card perfect magician, and it does support the channel as well, without costing you anything, this deck is going to come in, and you're going to want to know beforehand Am I going to like how this deck feels? Because even though some decks have really cool designs, they might suck when they come in and how they handle. So, when it comes to this deck, there's two ways that I can describe it to you. There's the actual feel of the deck, and then there's the thickness of the deck. When it comes to the stock of this deck, the stock is going to be the thickness of it. This is going to be a premium B stock. There's many different names for it, but there's classic stock, and then there's premium stock, and this is going to be on that grade, the casino grade, whatever you want to call it. Now, when it comes to how this deck feels, it's going to be more buttery. It's going to have a lot more room to be able to do moves like under pressure and not have to work very hard. It still has a lot of snappiness to it to where if you're going to do something like backdrop or hot shot or something along those lines, you're still going to be okay. But definitely it's more of a buttery deck. And if you want a deck to compare it to, I would compare it to the Slow Hands V2 Tortoise Backs. Now, when it comes to if you should actually buy this deck, I think it depends on who you are. So if you're a magician, I definitely think you can. This back design is extremely simple. The faces are all going to be easy to read. There's nothing extra complicated on it. There's not anything that makes a magician intended deck, but I think the magicians can also use this deck just like any bicycle deck or anything else. Now, for cardists, it's not a cardistry deck. I mean, I've seen people do cardistry with a bicycle deck and with many other decks I don't think you should be doing cardistry with. So I think you can do cardistry with this deck, but it's not going to be my preferred choice. Next is for collectors, and I definitely see this as a collector's deck. Number one, it's a Gemini deck. If you don't know who Gemini is, I'll leave the link to them in the description and all their decks, which are 10% off there as well. But at the same time, you can collect series of playing cards. So you can collect the Gemini series or the Cherry Casino series, or if you like collecting anything like that, this is going to be one. If you like collecting older decks or look more vintage, this is the 1975 edition. It, is ha it does have a numbered seal. It is more of a rare deck. Things like that which make it more valuable for collectors. And lastly, it just looks great on a card shelf. I had this one on mine in my top 100 decks that I like to use. So 100% you can collect this deck. Now should you play games with this deck? Personally, I'm not going to, but that's just because I'm stingy with what I let my friends use. 
But I see no reason that if you don't care and you're okay with buying tons of these decks, 100% you could play games with it. And is this a hype deck? I don't think so. So if you did enjoy these playing cards, make sure to pick them up in the description. And, and if you enjoyed the review, make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you can be notified when every week I post a new review. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. This is Card Perfect, signing off.